Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss some vitamins and supplements and their uses. This is going to go on the prepping playlist, and it will also go on the health-related or fitness-related playlist. Now, before I talk about these, I have a disclaimer. Before you start taking anything, it's always a good idea to consult with medical professionals. For example, your doctor. Right? And if you're on any sort of fitness program or journey, you can go ahead and give us an update in the comments section, an accountability update. All right, also in the comments section, if you have taken any vitamins or supplements that have really benefited your health, feel free to give your testimonial in the comments section that might help someone out. And I will include a full list of everything in this video will be listed in the text description box. All right, first up, we've got magnesium citrate. All right, magnesium citrate. If you suffer from muscle tension, muscle cramping, muscle twitching, muscle spasms, it could be a magnesium deficiency, right? Any of those muscle problems, this can probably help. And as a side benefit, this will also cure certain types of constipation, right? Because if your intestines, if the muscles there are too tense, this will allow them to relax and let things pass through, right? So muscle tension, muscle spasms, twitches, or muscle cramps, try magnesium. Now, the reason I take this is because I do weightlifting, and, you know, with weightlifting, it's very important that your muscles can relax after two hours of intense lifting. Your muscles have to be able to relax, so I take this just to avoid injury. All right, next up, we've got malic acid. Now, most people who take this take it for fibromyalgia. So if you have fibromyalgia, this might benefit you. However, a lot of people have reported uh, a good reaction to this when they have other sort of unnamed, basically aches and pains relating to their muscles. Now, me personally, I do not have fibromyalgia. I actually take this to relieve joint stiffness. And it works like a charm for me. Uh, every few days, I'll run three or four miles. Right, so sometimes, you know, hey, I'm, I'm getting older. I get some joint stiffness when I'm recovering. Well, if I feel any joint stiffness in my like toe joint, for example, this fixes it within 20 minutes. It's night and day. Within 20 minutes, no stiffness in my joints at all. All right, next up we've got Adaptogen Elite. I don't know if you can see that. It's going to be in the text description box, but this is Adaptogen Elite. What this does is relieve stress. It will help you sleep better. Basically what it does is address cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone that is released when, when you are stressed out. So is there anybody who's not stressed out nowadays? Of course, you're all stressed out. When you have a constant drip of cortisol, it's very, very bad. For one thing, cortisol, it promotes weight gain. It also promotes, uh, like a constant drip, will give you adrenal fatigue. It will cause insomnia and muscle wasting. Uh, it's, it's just bad, all right? So this will reduce that stress hormone. This will reduce cortisol. When you do fasting, if you work out a lot, sometimes, sometimes your cortisol can spike. So this helps me deal with stress, helps me sleep better. So if you suffer from insomnia or adrenal fatigue, definitely consider the Adaptogen Elite. All right, and speaking of fatigue, speaking of stress, we got thyroid support. And again, this will be listed, the link will be listed in the text description box but this is thyroid support formula that I take All right now. So what's this going to do? Well, the main thing this has is selenium, but it also has iodine and a whole bunch of other things that your thyroid needs to do its thing. Now, what, 
What's up with the thyroid? Okay, if you have a slow metabolism, right, most likely you, your thyroid is unhealthy. It might just not have what it needs to properly function. All right, so this will help if you suffer from fatigue, low energy, right, low metabolism. All right, next up we've got L-citrulline. L-citrulline. Now, this is an amino acid, right, which are the building blocks of protein. But what is important about this amino acid? Well, basically, it is, you need this for the urea cycle. Basically, when you exercise, your body produces waste products, and you then have to neutralize those waste products and pass them out, right? Well, this particular amino acid is like crucial to that cycle. This helps recovery, right? If you're running, if you're weightlifting, if you're active, this will help you recover faster because you're getting the toxic waste products out of your body more efficiently. So people take this for recovery. So I do both running and weight training. So I take this just to speed up and enhance and make my recovery that much better. Now this is, col this is collagen in a mix that you can put, I put it in my coffee, but you, if you don't drink coffee, you could make some sort of healthier hot chocolate or something. You know, being that I lost 85 pounds since three years ago, right, I take this to help my skin not be loose, right? If you lose a lot of weight, your skin is go going to be loose. Well, this will help with that because it increases the elasticity of your skin. It gives you healthier, younger skin, essentially. Also, if you're having thinning hair, this is good for your hair. If your nails are weak and fragile, this is good for your nails and your joints. I mean, as you get older, I mean, everybody's going to need um, something to help their joints. Healthy nails, healthy hair, healthy skin, and healthy joints. All right, so as I said, this particular thing, you can mix it into your coffee, which I like to do, but it's a good way to get your collagen. All right, next up, we got the potassium citrate. Most of the time, you get potassium from just eating normal foods. But if you engage in fasting, which can be very beneficial, different types of fasting, you might suffer from not getting enough potassium, especially if you're doing like a 48 hour fast, you're just not eating anything, which people uh, sometimes do, you know, do that with proper research. So if you engage in fasting, you might need potassium citrate. I take this every day. I just mix it into my water, right? And you'll avoid having a potassium deficiency. Now, potassium is very important just for, just for the normal functioning of your body, but basically, if your potassium were to go too low, which does happen to some people who have eating disorders, their heart can no longer beat in a regular rhythm, and they can die. All right, so if you engage in fasting, consider taking this, get your potassium, all right, next up we got a trio. Now, most people know about these, so I'm not going to waste too much time on them. But vitamin D, many, many people suffer from a vitamin D deficiency. So you might need this and also getting enough sunlight during your day also helps. Go for like a 45 minute walk and get some sunlight and that will help you with your vitamin D. Uh, we got zinc and we have vitamin C. Now, both of these are very good for boosting your immune system. You want to fight off a cold, maybe fight off the flu. This is very useful for your immune system, all right? But, and most people know that already, but there are some other things. Well, first of all, zinc, uh, how shall I put this? If you're a sexually active man, zinc is vital for uh, reloading, recharging you, so to speak. And you can do your own uh, research on that. All right, and the vitamin C. Now, most people understand that this helps your immune system, but it also 
helps with inflammation. And you're all inflamed, okay? Because well, most of you, either you're an either you're an athlete and you're fit and you work out, so you're just inflamed because you know intense running, intense lifting, it can lead to a little inflammation. That's why I take it. It helps reduce inflammation post workout. Now, if you're not in shape, um, all the bad unhealthy foods, almost all of them cause excessive inflammation and also fat itself will just, it will get you inflamed, right? So whether you're an athlete or the opposite, you're probably inflamed. This will help reduce inflammation. Now this big ass container is powder, right? It's vitamin C powder because it's just more cost efficient and I just add it to my water, right? Because sometimes you need a lot. Like if you have inflammation, like let's say you busted your ankle and you have a lot of inflammation, you might need a lot of vitamin C and obviously consult your doctor, but it's just not efficient to take the little individual capsules. So I just take this, uh, this powder so I can get way more for a cheaper price. All right, that link will be in the text description box. All right, here I have Sissus. Now Sissus, and again, if you can't see these, don't worry. They're all listed in the text description box with the links and everything. But this is Sissus. Now Sissus is a plant extract. It has been widely studied and it is very beneficial to your bones, your tendons, your ligaments, your cartilage, connective tissues, your joints. It literally makes those things thicker and stronger, okay? So if, if you were sedentary and then you start an exercise program like walking, or maybe you've done walking a while and you're graduating toward running, you might notice that your, your feet might tend to hurt, your knees, your ankles might tend to hurt. Well, you know, that's because of disuse syndrome. Uh, basically, your tendons, your ligaments, your joints, and your bones, if you haven't used them a lot, they're weak, they're thin, and they're fragile. Well, that's going to improve over time, but if you want to speed up that process, make your bones, your tendons, and your ligaments thicker and stronger, take Sissus. I'll include the links that explain all the scientific studies but it will benefit those, right? So if you're worried about osteoporosis, take cystis. If you suffer from tendinitis, like repetitive use, pain and injuries, take cystis. All right, next up we got creatine. I'm sure you've heard of this, All right? This is the one I take. It'll be in the, the links below. Creatine, so what does creatine do? Well, basically when your muscles need energy, your body uses ATP. And when your body runs out of ATP, it has something called ADP, which it then converts to ATP, and then it can use that ATP. Don't worry, this is not gonna be on the test, but this helps you convert your ADP, which you have in storage, into ATP rapidly and efficiently, providing more energy for your muscles it allows you to work out more intensely. So if you are lifting weights, you are going to get that, essentially that pumped feeling a lot more quickly. All right, people, speaking of the creatine, you know, seeing is believing, but creatine is never a substitute for hard work. But combined with your hard work, it can be very beneficial. Let's put up some weight. I'm going to include links that explain the benefits of all these supplements, right, uh, with more detail. All right, YouTube, well, that was fast and furious, but those are just some vitamins and supplements that I personally take that have benefited me. All those supplements will be listed 
in the links and those they will be the links to the exact brands that I personally have used. All right, so check those out. Those do help the channel. I appreciate all who use them. Uh, this has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.